Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about uh, raise error command. So basically raise error command uh, supports certain options that uh, throw command doesn't. And it has the following syntax uh, starting with the raise error keyword then we provide in the message or the message ID then we put in severity then we put in state which can be numerical constants. Uh, and after that uh, we can provide arguments for parameter markers with options and parameters can either be constants or variables and below is an example of razor command so here we are using razor command with a custom message this is a custom error message with a string parameter percentage s so the percentage s is equated with this parameter xyz and an integer parameter percentage d and the percentage D is equated by 234. So the message we get is this is a custom error message with a string parameter XYZ and an integer parameter 234. And 16 is the severity level and uh, we are putting one as the state. And this code will generate the following output. So message 50,000. Uh, level 16 state 1 and these parameters are provided by us and uh, this is a user defined error message which is this is a user defined error with a string parameter xyz and an integer parameter 234 second parameter in the above syntax indicates severity so this is the severity messages with severe severity from 0 to 10 are considered informational and they are always sent to the client severity 10 messages get converted into 0 for compatibility reasons and they print without the header messages from severity messages with severity from 1 to 9 prints with the header now we are looking at a below example where we are raising error with severity 0 we are using razor command and we are providing custom message this is a custom message with severity 0 we are putting 0 as severity 1 as the state and this the above code generates the following output so first let me uh, try to execute this code in SQL Server let's copy it go inside SQL Server and put this code over here let me see if we, if we are able to execute this code quickly let me properly correct this single quotes okay let's try to execute this statement okay we got this message this is a custom error message with a string parameter x y z and an integer parameter 234 alright and uh, let's go back to the notes so Now let's try to execute this statement here. We are raising a customer message with the severity level of 0 and state of 1. So the above code will generate the following output. This is a custom error message with severity 0. And let's see. And this message is just uh, coming without any header rows. Header row consists of things like uh, message number and the severity level and the state level so if we try to output the messages with severity level 0 header row does not come so let's let's copy this and try to execute this statement within sql server so i'm putting this code selecting this statement in particular let me try to correct these quotes quickly and then we'll execute the statement so we have executed this statement so what we got is this is a custom message with severity 0 it has it does not show the error message number as well as the state level or the severity level because the severity level is 0 now let's take a look at another example so below example shows raising an error with severity 1 so here we are putting 1 for the severity so once we put one for the severity, it provides the header rows. For severity zero error messages, we do not get any. We do not get any header rows. 
now let's copy this statement and try to execute it within our SQL Server environment I need to correct the single quotes so let's do that quickly and now let's try to execute this statement and this time we will get the header row so you see we got the message this is a custom message with severity 1 and we got this header row where we get the message number severity level and the state level let's go back to notes we got the following output we have just seen okay so errors with severity level lower than 11 are not catchable errors we cannot catch them uh, in the catch block as with severities from 11 to 19 are catchable errors with severity from 20 to 25 terminates the connection so again we cannot ca catch these type of error messages as well to raise an error with severity with 19 and up we have to add an option with lock so here we are talking about the error with we are raising it with severity 19 or above we need to add an option with lock which locks the error in SQL Server error lock as well as Windows application lock to use the with lock option you must be a member of sysadmin role or have a alter trace permission third parameter is an integer state value in the range 1 2 255 and we are talking about this third parameter state it can be in the range of 1 2 255 similar to a state value you specified with the throw statement additional options can also be specified as a part of the with clause of the raise error command for most commonly used ones are log and no wait so if we use the with log option it logs the error messages in windows application log as well as sql server error logs and we can also use with no wait option we will talk about that in a while so no wait option causes the sql server to send messages immediately to the client without waiting for its internal buffer to fill up so if we use no wait option whenever an error is raised it is immediately sent to the client without any wait developers usually use this option when running longer scripts to report the progress of the code following example demonstrate the use of no wait option so here we are using razor command with the customer message first message uh, we are raising a severity level of message with a severity level of 0 and a state of 1 and we are using with no wait option then we are putting a delay of 30 seconds by using wait for delay 30 seconds then we are raising second error message again with no wait option so here this statement will not work both messages will be sent immediately to the client when the associated risk error command used first message immediately prints as soon as the code start executing and the second message after the delay of 30 seconds so this statement will immediately prints the first message and it will then wait for 30 seconds and then prints the second error message now run the code without using the no wait option this time both the messages get printed after 30 seconds after the code completes its execution so let's demonstrate this so I'm copying these statements first with the with no wait option so let's try to rub this and uh, or right let's take a new query window altogether so I'm putting these statements so if I execute this code it will first print the first error message immediately and then it wait for 30 seconds and then prints the second error message let's see so concentrate on this part it has printed first message now it is waiting for 30 seconds then it will print the second message so we are just waiting for 30 seconds
about to come I think hmm. okay we got the second message as well after a delay of 30 seconds now let's remove these with no weird options so what it will do as soon as the first error message is raised it gets buffered in the system instead of printing SQL Server does not print this message immediately and it waits for 30 seconds and then the second error message is raised so it prints both the messages after the delay of 30 seconds because the first message gets buffered and does not print at the same time it prints along with the second error message so now let's quickly execute the code now let's look at, take a look at the messages so I, we see that the first message is not printed yet now it will wait for 30 seconds and print both of the first and second error messages let's wait for a couple of more seconds and it will print both the messages okay we see that both the messages comes immediately after the delay of 30 seconds okay let's go back to the notes and see what is next so we have used these reaser statements with the, both with no wait option and without the no wait option and we have seen the differences in both the situations now let's look at the blow example and it is raising the error with severity 21 which is a higher level severity and it terminates the connection as well and we are using with log options so it puts the error message in SQL Server error logs as well as Windows application logs. Okay, uh, above message gets logged in SQL Server error logs because the severity specified is uh, 21 and SQL Server terminates the connection because severity level is higher and it generates the following output. Process ID 52, maybe we get a different process ID as race user error. 50,000 severity 21 SQL server is terminating this process cannot continue execution because the session is in kill state a severe error occurred on the current command the results if any should be discarded so let's try to execute this statement in SQL server and we'll check out the logs and we get this disconnected status in the session so let's open up a new query window quickly and let's try to execute this statement right now if we see at the bottom the uh, our session is showing us connected so once this statement is executed our session connection gets terminated and we get the disconnected option over here at the bottom and this error message will be logged in SQL Server error logs and we will show you where to check the SQL Server error logs and Windows uh, application logs so I'm trying to execute this statement quickly we got the same error messages we were discussing before and we can see the connection state is disconnected over here and now let's go to management and under management we have SQL Server logs so let's take a look at the current log so this error message must be logged so over the top we see that this error message is logged raising message with severity 21 this is logged inside SQL Server uh, we can also check uh, Windows application logs so in order to check that we need to open event viewer let's go into that and see whether we are able to find that this particular error message over there so event viewer is opened and we go to Windows log and application logs let's see waiting for it to open so here is the message racing message with severity 21 so it is also logged within windows application logs and the application is ms sql server 
let's close Windows Event Viewer and uh, go back to the notes. Now we saw that uh, the session at this point is in disconnected state. However, if we execute a new batch of T SQL code, SSMS will restore the connection. So if we execute any new batch of code within this uh, query window, uh, the connection gets restored and we see the connected keyword. Uh, right now the session state is in disconnected mode because the error with severity level 21 was raised. Throw command does not support options with lock and with no weight, whereas the raise error option raise error command does. Errors with sever severity lower than 20 do not terminate the executing batch of code, nor do they terminate the transaction. All right, so code will continue to execute for all the error messages with severity lower than 20, and the transaction does not get terminated irrespective of the state of exact about option. So we usually define uh, exact about option while using transactions in our code to immediately about the transaction upon occurrence of any error. Okay, but the if the severity level is lower than 20, the exact about option will have no effect. And this is one of the drawbacks basically for raise error command. So what is the drawback of raise error command? If the error is of severity less than 20, exact about option will not take any precedence and it will not terminate the connect transaction. The transaction will remain open. So below code is demonstrating this. So here we are using exact about option on. Let me again tell you. We use this option to terminate the transaction immediately upon occurrence of error, any error within the code. So here we are beginning the transaction and we are running the raise error command with a custom error message and severity level is 16, state level is 1. So here we are raising an error with severity level 16. So the drawback of using razor command is that it will not terminate this transaction. Okay. Because the severity level is less than 20. The second line is showing print. This code in the same batch executes. And here we are printing the transaction count using the tran count variable. We are casting it as where character 10. If transaction count is greater than 0, roll back the transaction. So when we try to execute this code, we'll get the following output. This is a custom defined error. Okay. So the transaction is not aborted at this point in time. The code in the same batch executes. So here we see that the transaction count is 1. So at this point, uh, transaction was not rolled back. And it was still an open transaction even though an error raise occurred. Transaction is still open. So exact about is not taking any precedence. Because transaction count is still 1. As we see that transaction count is still 1 even after error was raised and we are manually tackling that open transaction by using the if statement uh, we are checking the transaction count if it is greater than zero then we are manually rolling back the transaction in the above code we can see the batch of code continued executing and the transaction remain open even though the exact op about option is specified so this is one of the drawbacks of Razor commands that it does not abort the transaction if the severity level is less than 20. Now let's copy this code and open in a new query window. Let's correct the quotation marks.
okay so let's execute it and we got the following output so again even though the error is raised at this point transaction was still open as we got the transaction count one after that and we have manually rolled back the transaction by manually checking it using the if statement i think we are done with the raise error command in this video and in our next video we will talk about uh, error handling with transactions for now we are fine with the uh, raise error command so guys uh, do like this video if you really like it and please do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon if you want to get updates for my future videos regarding my future videos and i would like to thank you so much for your time and you all have a nice day ahead